Hello everybody. I am super excited to bring you today's video because Trello is launching something awesome and I think a lot of you are gonna be really excited for it. So I spent a lot of time in the forums and the communities and seeing what people are asking for and one of the most commonly requested features is more label color options. And while it's personally never held me back in my use of Trello, I know a lot of people are really interested in it and I'm super excited to show you Trello is launching more colors now. You have 20 new colors available to you and let's dive into a demo and I want to show you how it works. All right, so if you've been using Trello and using labels, you're probably familiar with where you can find these settings. You can either go inside of a card and see it on there or you can go to those three dots in the corner, hit more and then labels and you can see the options for labels in your board. So previously there were 10 different label color options and some of them would be showing up here and to create a label you could um, select it and then give it a title like um, I don't know if we're gonna say hi and then maybe make that one medium and maybe make that one low and that's how you can add titles and you can assign them to cards and things but what you probably noticed is when I hit that pencil there used to only be 10 options here and now there's 30 and what they've done is they've taken those 10 core colors they have and then assigned a lighter version and a darker version of each of them giving you 30 total colors now that you can use for things. So if you've already got labels created, you should see this in your boards already, but you're gonna have, your labels will be over here. And if you wanna change them, just hit that pencil and you can change it to, you know, whatever shade or color that you want it to be and just hit save to be done. You can create a new label by clicking create a new label down here and look at these options and yeah, just select any color in here, hit create. And then when you want to um, apply it to a card, you can just go to the label button and select whichever one you want. And everything I just did from the board menu, you can do in here as well. You can change a color to create a new label and give it a title. You can check it, you can remove it, you can do whatever you need to do with that. So let's just try one more time here for editing a label. Let's say I wanna call this high with a capital H. All I need to do is open it up with that pencil, change the text, and let's just say maybe I want it to be that lighter green. And I can just select that there, hit save, and boom, my changes are reflected. Let me add it to the card. And so this is what it looks like from up top on here. And this is what it looks like inside the card as well. And then lastly, I just wanna point out colorblind mode. So if you select that, it's gonna add these little uh, icon sort of images, things to the labels so that you can more easily distinguish between them just in case those colors aren't as easy for you to tell apart since there are multiple ones. And Trello really wanted to make sure that this experience was still helpful and useful for colorblind folks. And so that's what's kind of taken a while to roll out these more options and things like that. So some of the things you might notice that have changed too is if you look at older boards, you might be like, wait a minute, like my, my labels used to be darker colors and the text was white. What's wrong with that? Can I go back to that? And the answer is no, unfortunately, you can't go back to that. Uh, but the reason for this being is that the, the contrast has changed and so you should still be able to see these labels. And if you're like, oh, that shade is, is too light, just select the pencil and then pick a darker one and hit save and you'll see it actually ends up bolding it maybe a little bit more. So if you're going for more of those bolder colors, you might just want to use the darker shades of all of these colors that you have here. So that's how this works. Um, I'm posting a community article about it that I'm gonna to link to in the comments of this video. But if you have any questions, just let me know. I'd love to try to answer them or give you some ideas or strategies on how to use labels if you've never used them. They're super great for just categorizing anything you can on your board and you can filter your board by labels too. So for instance, since let's say I only want to see high priority tasks, I can filter by that. And in my opinion, that's where I find the value in labels in more for being able to kind of filter what I see on my board more so than the aesthetic value of them. But that being said, it is super nice to have a lot more color options. So yeah, hit me up if you have any questions or if uh, you need more ideas on like, what do I do with labels or um, I, yeah, just any, any thoughts you have. And I look forward to seeing what you think.